Welcome to this really cool A-frame located in Washington. Let's go check it out. Real quick, we created a second YouTube channel, so go subscribe to that if you want to see more content from us. Anyway, back to the tour. We are located in the Pacific Northwest once again today in Index, Washington. It is about an hour and a half outside of Seattle and the beautiful mountains and scenery that the Pacific Northwest has to offer. And we're really close to Stevens Pass, so that is a popular skiing and snowboarding destination. And this is just a great spot to be at. We are right on Sky Kamish River as well and I'm going to be giving you a tour of this A-frame cabin right behind me. It is this beautiful, beautiful cabin tucked away amongst these trees and there's mountains literally right behind it and there's even a stream that goes right through the property. You can probably hear it now maybe but it is a very cool A-frame cabin and I cannot wait to give you a tour of this Airbnb that you can book yourself. The host is very nice she does a lot of wedding and engagement photography here so if that is something for you as well then i would highly suggest checking this place out the link is down below if you want to book this place and come here yourself even if you're just driving through the area i see lots of people driving through this area with vans and campers and stuff so this could be a really cool spot to stay at so along with the tour whenever you book this place you'll drive through the beautiful scenery and then you arrive to your a-frame cabin this place sleeps four guests which is really nice to offer and just the outside of this a-frame is such a gorgeous look it is very cozy and it fits in with that washington uh, aesthetic really nicely from the dark wood you got the trees all around whenever i was here it rained basically the entire time so i guess that's what happens in washington it just rains the whole time but that just meant it was really moody and cozy and it was enjoyable to hang out in this a-frame but there's lights all around this as well so at night it looks really cool and then there's even a camper over here on the right side just to add to that adventure of staying here so you can take photos here which is really cool and this is a really cool aspect as well but we'll walk up on this platform and get out of the rain and check out what the inside has to offer when you walk in it is a pretty open concept it is bright in here I love some of the design aspects that the host did in this place and just the first thing that we can start off with is the living room which is right off to your left she has a leather couch in here with some really nice seating and a cool coffee table in the middle and just all the decor pieces all around this with the plants and the candles everywhere it just looks really cool and cozy right here and it's just tucked away in this corner with all the windows too it looks really cool and right next to this is this cool decor piece I'll point out is this backpack for hiking I'm guessing it is an antique decor piece uh, what people used to use and it just looks really cool so there's lots of decor pieces like that that fit in with the area here so I love it and then across from the living room is your game area and record player there's a couple things here this is the, a lot of things here to pass the time or to enjoy with your friends and family and then of course you have the stairs that lead up to the top part of your a-frame but we'll get to that later in this video they look really good though i love the wood and the color of them and how they are positioned in this a-frame it is always really interesting to see how they position stairs in a-frame cabins because it is a little tricky you can have them in the middle you can have them kind of in the back or you can kind of catty cordon them in the middle and that's what they did here it looks pretty cool but behind the stairs is a cozy area that has a small day bed back here so this is an extra bed for some guests to sleep in but it is just tucked away back behind the steps in this cozy spot and i think that's genius if you're trying to figure out what to do with an area like this it looks really good so now we'll continue along to the back half of your a-frame back here is your kitchen space now this is a very large kitchen for this a-frame right in the middle they have your dining table which is this beautiful wood dining table with the bench the host has this laid out and decorated very nicely with all the stuff right here and then on the wall behind this there's lots of other dishware that is because the host does lots of engagement shoots out here so there's different props for that which is so cool so you can set it up however you want but it's already set up like this which is very nice to uh, have in an Airbnb and then the rest of your kitchen on this left side you have this really really cool 
fireplace slash stove if for some reason the power goes out or whatever you can actually use this as a uh, furnace you can put wood in here and burn it and heat up the rest of this place or you can use this for cooking if you really wanted to but you have a regular stove right next to that and oven so that's what you'd probably be using but the rest of your kitchen you have cabinets and your apron front sink right here in front of this window and they provide all the coffee stuff you would need right here and then you have your fridge of course so this is all of your kitchen and it looks really good and then it overlooks the living room area as well so as we continue along back here this door is actually your bathroom you can walk into this bathroom and check it out this is your full bathroom with a tub and shower combo in here you have your vanity on the right and this is where your washer and dryer is back here as well so this is a pretty simple bathroom and it just looks bright and clean which is always nice so we can step out of that let's go walk up the steps and check out the upstairs of your a-frame you'll walk up here and this is your carpeted area and the first thing on this left side you'll walk kind of down the hallway and then you have a kind of a workstation or just a bonus area I would say there's a desk right here and a small Roku TV so you can actually watch Netflix and stuff up here but you probably want to watch it up here you can and are suggested to move this TV wherever you want in the cabin the host didn't want the TV downstairs because they didn't want people just watching TV all the time while they're here which is a good thing I think you can even take it and put it in uh, your bed because the TV is so small which is the last part of this upstairs in the back your master bedroom and it's just a pretty simple bedroom you can lay here with that TV right in the middle of your bed and enjoy some Netflix and they even have a really cool uh, light up here that makes it look like there's stars everywhere so very minimalist upstairs but practical and usable which is always great so now let's go check out my favorite part of this cabin which is the cedar wood fire hot tub in the back of this property. You'll walk out your back door and you'll take a stroll up to this decked out area and this is where your wood fire cedar hot tub is at. It can fit three people in here which is pretty big for a wood fire hot tub and the unique thing about this is that one it looks really cool but two you burn wood to heat up your water and it smells great and it's just a really unique experience to have this. So if you're wondering how it works let me describe it to you. To get your hot tub heated up, you lift this thing out and then you actually have to burn some wood in there and it takes about two hours-ish to heat this water up. So that's what we're going to do now. Put the wood down in the hatch. We will light this up. We'll put in the kindling wood in it. I'll wait a couple minutes and then put in a couple big logs in there to get the fire really going. Alright, it's going a little bit. Time to add in the big dog. You can close it up, put both lids on, now we wait. And after it gets all heated up, you can actually get in now and enjoy your time. And it's just, it's just so cool, especially with the scenery all around you. And you can probably hear the stream that runs right behind it. This is like 10 feet away, this really cool stream in Washington. And you know, uh, streams in Ohio where I'm from kind of look gross or can be, but all the water here is really cool. There's rocks everywhere and the greenery is so cool. Just having that right next to your hot tub, right next to your A-frame, can't get any better than that. And of course, there's other seating options up here and even a small grill out here for when it's uh, probably more sunny and hot compared to right now when it's raining. So guys, thank you for watching this video. That is everything that this place has to offer and my wife and I really enjoyed it here and we've been really enjoying Washington as well even though she's like seven months pregnant she's killing it I think so props to her she's been filming me doing some random crap and just helping me out so thank you guys for supporting this channel and I'll see you guys next week in another Airbnb tour video